No! No! I have no ammo! Oh no! I'm so sad. What's up everyone? About a month ago I took on a crazy challenge trying to create a game in just one hour in Unreal Engine 5. For that, I had to plan everything out really well just to make sure that I could get everything done in time. And it was really stressful. So stressful that after doing that, I assumed I was ready for anything. Well, you know what they say about assuming. I decided to challenge fellow game developer and creator Alex from Simmering Studios to each create a game using similar prompts, him in Unity 2D and myself in Unreal Engine in 3D in just 12 hours. Let's roll a theme. All right. Okay. So impending wall of doom. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Could almost be like an endless runner sort of thing, maybe. Yeah, I could see that for sure. Yeah, kind of like a temple run sort of <laughs> thing, but you're like running away from some like tidal wave. Cool. Yeah. You want to try another one? Yeah. Let's throw in another one here. Looks like we got every death is meaningful. Every death is meaningful. Yeah. Let's do three for good measure. And we got preparation, set it up and let it go. I mean, I don't know how you're feeling, but I kind of have an idea for like all of these prompts. You could definitely try and set something up and use them as guidelines. Sweet. Sounds great. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Being the sane, rational person that I am, I decided to plan a small, manageable project that I could create easily within the deadline. How long did I even spend writing this? My thought was if I could get some basic gameplay down, I could flush out what I have time for and at least have something to show, knowing full well that I wouldn't have time to finish all of it. The first thing that I did was get third person movement down for the defense mode, make a child character and spline actor for the side scrolling, then set up some basic combat that would work in both modes. This, however, is where things went horribly wrong. I can't say for sure whether I set up my blueprints incorrectly or whether there's some latent blueprint issue in Unreal Engine 5.1.1, but after making completely functional combat, I went back to pass through some knockback logic, and for some reason, any other variables that I added to my event only worked in the enemy child class and not in the base combat class that I was using for the player. I started to get a little stressed out, so when this happened, I decided to pause my clock for the evening and carry on the next day. Things really didn't get any better though. I spent over an hour debugging the blueprints. I was so angry that I even made a video about it, which if you're curious, I'll leave a link to that as well as its follow-up in the description down below. Needless to say, I really felt like I was on the wrong track. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, so we got a bit of a problem here. Okay, what happened? My, uh, my project is basically completely unusable. Oh no! Yeah, man. Is it okay with you if maybe I start over in an earlier version of Unreal Engine that's a bit more stable? Yeah, dude, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if, like, you have to, like, start over from scratch, it sounds like, right? Yeah, is, is it cool if my timer restarts? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's totally awesome. cool. All right, thanks, man. For sure. After a busy week of work and being bummed out about the previous failure, I crammed as hard as I could the following weekend to start fleshing out the new project. This time, with a point to prove, I booted up Unreal Engine 4.26. Was Unreal Engine 5 really as broken as I thought? Was Unreal Engine 4, with its years of development, the much more stable engine? Well, making a game framework in either one is pretty much the same thing. I set up third person movement with the intention to be making a shooter this time, as well as a simple enemy to test collision. Then, after setting up a gameplay queue to spawn in particles and sounds whenever needed, I created a spawn point and manager system that allowed me to control which areas of the map had enemies to spawn and how many they could control at one time, which ended up being a little arbitrary just based on how the gameplay turned out, but now we're kind of getting a little ahead of ourselves. All good games need some sort of progression. So to keep the player occupied while the impending wall of flesh formed, I implemented a Doom style door key system, as well as these power stations, which were originally meant to be used to power things that you could spend points on, but I didn't quite get there. So now there's just more kinds of doors. Another thing that I implemented but didn't really have time to set up properly are these turrets, which you buy for points, they shoot their clip, and then you buy them again. The reason I made these was because of one of our prompts being about preparation. I thought that preparing and managing turrets to keep areas of the level clear would be kind of fun. However, it just wasn't meant to be, as I had actual gameplay mechanics to implement. One of my favorite recent third-person shooters is the Resident Evil 2 remake. In my opinion, they use one of the most user-friendly control schemes for an adventure shooter, this being left-click is interact. But wait, you might be asking, this is a shooter game. 
If left click is interact, then how do you shoot the gun? Well, when you're aiming, of course. Holding down the aim button will put you in an ADS mode, allowing you to shoot the gun. However, when you're not aiming, trying to shoot the gun will just interact. Also, it's kind of weird always having the bullets be so perfect, so I set up bullet spread in a similar way as well, and spent way too much time making a widget that gives visual feedback. Like, way too much time. And with that, the game's complete. Wait, 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 where did this level come from? Also, when did this become the character? And what are these gameplay messages? I don't really consider myself a good level designer. I spent my last three hours just copying and pasting walls and floors and dragging them around until I got something that, in my opinion, is still kind of mid, but it serves the purpose. I also implemented the gameplay messages specifically to give the no power warning when you interact with an unpowered door just so you know there's something else that needs to be done there. But I also ended up adding some for picking up guns, because it's kind of hard to see which one you've picked up in the lightless dev maze. None of this was recorded, because I kind of just wanted to get the level done, and I wasn't expecting to make any other gameplay features. But as you can see here, there's really not a lot to them. So there we have it. A third person shooter, survival, slap in the face, made in just 12 hours. Let's see how we made out. All right, so now I'm playing Zach's game. So let's go ahead and get into this final build here. All right, kite or walled? Let's look at the instructions. All right, make your way through the maze of endlessly spawning zombies. Each zone of spawns has a maximum number of potential enemies. However, this number increases the longer it takes you to get to the end. So even if you leave a zone, more will come. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So it'll just keep getting crazier and crazier. Oh, there's so many of them. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, I move kind of slowly. Okay, that's nice. I like that that, uh, that just kind of gravitated toward me. Woo! How many shots does it take to kill him? Ah! Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm getting attacked! This reminds me of like a Resident Evil. Oh my gosh, I'm just dying, guys. Ah! Oh no. All right, so I gotta find a way to like get around these guys. Oh, I can run. Oh, dude, that changes everything. I'm in the maze. Okay, here we go. Where does this lead? Oh, there's so many zombie spawns here. Oh, no power. Okay, so I need power for that door. I open up. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So I've got an SMG now. Okay, that was a free power here. Oop. I need to wait to reload. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Woo! Half health right now. Okay, I gotta get in here. Okay, I got a key. Okay, there's another, oh shoot, no. Oh, oh, I got past him, woo! Okay, I can do this. I think I got the key for this door. Yes, I did. Okay, 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 woo! I'm mainly just dodging these guys, but they're really hard. Oh no, oh no! Oh, I got around him, oh! Oh no, I died! It definitely rewards me for like running around the enemies. And it, it feels like it takes quite a few shots to kill them, which is definitely challenging. I'll say that. <laughs> oh crap, they're gonna all be right here. Oh man. Okay, I got through. I don't know if guys are gonna come through here again. I really hope not. Oh shoot, they're all there. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, whoo! I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh man. Oh, I got another gun. Well, that's good. Let's see how well this one works. It works a lot better than the other guns, so that's cool. Have I been up here before? Oh, shoot! Oh, the door came down. <laughs> I don't have that yet. Oh, frick. Oh, yes. Okay. Got that one. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, man. This is gonna be hard. Oh, no! Okay, I got more ammo, so that's good. Oh, crap. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! They're all here! 
Oh my gosh, at least they all died. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. <laughs> oh, I can do it, I can do it. I just gotta get them all to be down here, I think. That's what, that's what I gotta do. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no, oh no! No! <laughs> oh man. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay, that doesn't count. Gotta be fast. Also, I wonder if there's like some strategy to like go into certain sides. Nope, nope. If I was patient, yep, I just needed to do that. See, that's the way to do it, right there. All right, okay, I just gotta get across this maze. No, no, I have no ammo. Oh no, I'm so sad. I don't know, maybe I should try one more time. There's a wall on my path. Okay, I got it this time. I can get them all down here. I wonder, I can probably get past them all. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh no! Dang it! But yeah, dude, that was really fun. Definitely makes, gives you that like tension, you know, to try to get through it and everything. It was fun finding my way around the maze and kind of getting better and better. And the only thing that I would probably maybe could like add a little bit more to the game is if the zombies were a little bit easier to kill because there are so many of them. Yeah, I definitely saw the wall mechanic in your game uh, with the zombies. I mean, they definitely made a wall, that's for sure. And that was a pretty crazy obstacle to try to get through. And then, I mean, with every death, you definitely learn <laughs> and get better because with every death, you're able to remember how to get through the maze a little bit better each time. I mean, I'm bummed that I didn't get to see the end, but it was definitely a fun playthrough. Thank you so much for watching the video. And again, a big thank you to Alex from Simmering Studios for taking part in this challenge with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope he had fun as well. And I don't know, maybe we'll do something like this again sometime. Definitely make sure to show Alex some love as well and go check out his video at the Simmering Studios YouTube channel. Link will be down in the description below. If you got this far in and you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss when I post another one. I also do post a lot of tutorial videos, so if you're interested in game creation in Unreal Engine, definitely stick around for that as well. Hope you have a great day.